Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains. I'm in a very special place. Actually, Chuck, uh, Chuck Gamber uh, owns Jack of Arts, and we've been neighbors for years, and I should have featured him a long time ago, and there he is back there. How you doing, Chuck? I'm doing just fine. It's and, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Man, we were in Walmart, and I ran into him, and I'm like, dude, you've got a cachet on your van. I'm going to show it to you, and we're going to talk more about what this man does and what he's got going on on trains, so hold on. Chuck, this is amazing, man. Now, this 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 REO, what is this? What this year is, is this? 1958 uh, REO, Ranch Me Oldsmobile, uh, Gold Comet, Rio. And, and it's, it says road trip, Uncle. It all started with the Model T, and the wind wheels got to spin, and we right. got to go camping. There's the Baltimore Light, because I'm from Baltimore. That's Yosemite Valley, Route 66, and there's my... Uh, I 17A caboose pulling up the rear. Man, and you've got it. You you own an I. Uh, yeah, this caboose is down all, all, on the Annapolis, uh, Baltimore, oh, Washington, shit. on the Annapolis sub. And you own that caboose. And I own it. Oh yeah. my God, look at this, man! Holy smoke! And you did all this yourself. Yeah, all... I've been working on this truck since uh, 1981. Wow, let me go back here. This you've got back here. A full, what's this, a 35 foot bed? No, it's a 20 foot box. 20, man, 20, look at this. Look at that eagle up at the top. All well, airbrushed. We, uh, is it airbrushed or painted and airbrushed? Well, it's, it's combination work. A lot, it's spray gun work. A lot of it's airbrushed. And this is what's new for, for this year. Holy smokes. Lots of bull. <laughs> now, Gypsy, folks. That's Gypsy Jack. That's, uh, Jack Straw from Wichita riding Gypsy. Holy cow! I'm no, I'm no bull rider, but I sure like I sure like it. I think it makes a pretty good picture. Man. So I had to paint it on my truck. So that was new for this year because the national show was just at just at York, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. ATHS national show was just at York. And, and this this been... this airbrush work you do, you need to have free artistic reign when you take a project on. You don't want yeah, no I committees. Don't take, I don't take too many orders. You tell me what you want and right. how you want it to look, but I got to do it. Right, right. Yeah, you got to turn me loose and do things. Right. And let me show you this. Man, let me pause this and let's go look at the Shea. Hello, little Tennessee, Tennessee walking walk. dog. What a nice little dog. All right, we're going to show you the Shea that he... Uh, custom painted and did a digital overlay on this van. We'll take a closer look at it. Man, this is unbelievable. Chuck, how did you do? Tell tell us how you did this. Okay, this is a picture of uh, cast num cast uh, Shea number six, the last Shea built in 1945, and they run this actively at, Shea, at Cast West Virginia all the time. Right. And, and one of my one of my friends took a picture took pictures of it, and he brought me the picture, so we downloaded it and digital printed it. And I airbrushed out the sky and put in the flames and, and made her made her smoking hot and Whew. and uh, just kind of set her into. I wanted to advertise, uh, you know, digital wrap graphics that we're doing now. But I, I'm an old school hand painter as well. Okay. So this is a combination. We call we call this a hybrid graphic, where where the the, uh, the digital prints are actually laid into the mural, mm -hmm. and then I uh, airbrush over top of the digital prints, and then we clear coat. Uh, and we usually use a Dupont Emron. Uh -huh. It's my favorite paint. It's once and done. Costs a little extra up front, but man, it's once and done. You don't have to worry about it. So again. you do you do it with an airbrush, and you also use camel's hair brushes too. A this combination. Is, this is airbrush. It, it's spray gone. It's 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 striping daggers. Camel hair is actually red Russian squirrel hair. Talaluki squirrel. Okay. It's a red Russian squirrel hair. And you know why that is? But no. Because Russian squirrels have straight hair. And American gray squirrels have kinky hair. Oh yeah, you need that so straight hair. you can't hair. use kinky hair, so you got to use the Russian squirrel hair. This is amazing. Campbell was a brush company. So you could do this for somebody if they contacted you and... Yeah, uh, yeah I do it right along. along. We, do, we do that kind of thing all the time. Man, it really looks yeah. real. I saw this thing going down the road and man, I had to stop you. Let's check out your railroad. All right, now you were saying this is a Redbird Railroad. I call this my Redbird Railroad because my, my Dopke engine is red, mm -hmm. and, and I, I got that bird, I stuck him up in the tree. He's actually got five bird houses in him, and so I call this my Redbird Railroad. Wow. Just for fun. Man, where did you, did you make this head? Uh, it was made out of a, a, a Grimace head from uh, 
McDonald's. It used to be purple. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the uh, evil grimace. It used to be. It used to be an evil grimace. It but used to be an evil grimace. Now it's a red bird for the Red Bird Railroad. And this is what? Seven and a half inch. Uh, this what? is a seven and a half inch gauge. And tell me about these trains they're called. What kind of trains now? Uh, this is actually a Dopke. I've never heard of them. Uh, Dopke made a lot of steel toys in one, one sixteenth scale. Okay. And, and high quality stuff too. Uh, a little bit better than Tonka grade. So. Okay. And... Um, they made them in the early 50s into the late 50s. Mm -hmm. um, it was called the Yardbird set. Okay. And, and, and it was like a snap track kind of a deal. You, you kind of wired the, wired the uh, uh, rails onto the ties. Right. And, and, um, so you laid these, you laid this all out. Yeah, I laid this all out. This is actually a recreation of, of, of what they did. Oh, wow. And it's 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 made by I took some oak lumber and I taken I taken saw saw a kerf in there and mm -hmm. you put in three sixteenths iron banding three sixteenths by three quarters. Okay. Some guys use heavier if they're using the heavier engines. Right. You can you can upscale your the the scale of the metal. Right. And, and they get little holes drilled in them on each side of the tie and there's a wire clip. I made a little jig and make a wire clip and you swedge at the joints you swedge it. And then drill two holes, and you put your bolt through there, and that's how how the, how the track goes together. What gauge is? I mean, steel is this? Because you have for heavier trains, you'd use a a, a thicker rail. You just I use guess. a thicker rail. Some guys use a quarter inch by one inch. And this is this is three sixteenths by three quarters. Okay. But this is for kids to ride on, not necessarily really heavy uh, heavy you know, equipment. Logos, yeah. And wow, let's just take it around. It goes around. It's a small circle, but it's so cool. Where it and you where did you, where did you get this evil grimace from? From an auction? Well, the, the landscapers that helped me put this garden in, I had it laying around. It was an evil grimace, but I didn't like the evil grimace. Right. So we turned it into Redbird for Redbird Railroad. Now, this is a Dopke car. Okay. But this, this, uh, this horse is off of a little merry-go-round. So I, I built this for little girls to ride on. Right. And, and the, the, the switch <laughs> is actually a copy of a Dopke switch. Uh-huh. And, and it, has, it has its uh, cast iron frog I ordered. Somebody's still making the frog. I'd like to find out who it is again because I lost his address. But I, I, I would probably cast another one out of aluminum. But, right. But there you go. And I just welded it. You just spot welded it up. And I, I need a I need a little bit of better so, uh, switch stand, but we're working on that. Right. And this is how, how I load. I got the, I'll bring it out and I'll load it right on there. I, I keep the engine down in the garage. We'll look right. at that in a minute. I just pull it up on a, on a, a wagon. And, Man, that uh, is the coolest thing. Where did you get these cars from? Oh, they're 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 the Dopke cars. That's a yard bridge car. Wow, look at that little bridge. Uh, but the couplers, the couplers are actually a little bit better gauge. They they didn't come with the Dopke. That is uh, seven and a half inch gauge stuff. Uh, wow. You know, from from the other sources. These horses are beautiful, man. You said you got these off of a merry-go-round? Yeah, they're off of a little kick-and-go merry-go-round, yeah. And, and some of the bigger ones are lawn ornaments. So they take springs. They're spring animals. And you uh, restored these? Yeah, I just paint them up, clean them up, paint them up, stick them on there. I thought one looked good on there. It looks really cool behind the engine. Oh, Kids yeah. Kids love it, man. They <laughs> jump on there and ride. <coughs> yeah, I'll collect a few things from the railroad as, as, as I go by, put things uh, right. to it. This are these things fiberglass or made no, out? This of, is aluminum. Aluminum. So, so that's pretty heavy car. That probably weighs about sixty-five pounds. <clears throat> so these horses are aluminum. They're aluminum. Good lord, yeah. man! Look at this. This is just. The kids will come by and they'll ring the bell. Right. And, and this is a, a bead roller. They'll crack the bead roller, and this is a corn sheller. They'll turn the corn sheller. Wow. And they have a good time with it. And uh, these used to be yard jockeys, and I took and uh, painted them up to look like engineers and conductors. This is an engineer. Wow. Uh, and this is body putty. I put, I'll put body putty on top of his hat, hat and just reform it. Oh, and wow. then you can just repaint them to look like an uh, engineer like guy. A, like a railroad engineer. Railroad guy, yeah. Let's go check out that locomotive. It's as we were walking up, I, I wanted to show you folks these simulated shingles that he airbrushes and then he clears over these shingles. It's just really cool the way it's presented. Let's go into the shop. The shop is just amazing here. He's got, man, you've got all kinds of, what are these, Model Ts? They're Model Ts. Man, now here's one of the locomotives. This, this, is, this is the yard bird. And you're restoring this thing. This is, 
it's restored as good as good or better as when it was new. Wow. And the thing was gasoline powered, but this now it's gasoline powered, but we've converted it over electricity because kids really, you know, they're not gonna do the old Clinton gas power thing. Right. Wow, this is so cool. I'm gonna go drop the lock. Folks, it's not just model trains, it's all kind of trains on this channel. So I just am fascinated with it. And these things are from the 1950s. This is, this, yeah, about 1956. Wow. Now I've converted this over to run. Actually, a friend of mine converted it for me. I'm not very good at electronics. Right, but it runs on, uh, what, 18 volt DeWalt batteries? Yeah, we're just batteries? running 18 volt DeWalt's, but we could upscale the big batteries too if we wanted. Right. If, we get, if the load increases, I'll go ahead and put big batteries on it. So. And the kids can get on this thing and rock and roll. Man, look at this, man. That's so cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> but the kids can just have a ball with this, man. We got the couplers hooked up. Great. Right. Man, this is so cool. Some right, on get some weight on it and it'll run. run. There it goes. Uh oh, oh we got a derailment. Keeping it real. Uh, yeah. This is cool too, man. This is uh, on a spring. Yeah, spring loaded um, horses and are these and Are these things um, aluminum too? They're aluminum, they're out of playgrounds. Man. Pick them up at yard sales and flea markets and stuff. And then you restore them. Yeah, just paint them up and restore them, put them in. Wow. This is so cool. Uh, so, I don't have her lit up yet, but we'll get there with her. Chuck, you were telling me this came from Ellicott Mills, the switch stand? That switch stand came out of Ellicott Mills. Man. And you're going to light it up. Yeah. Man, that's going to look so cool in the middle of this yard. All right, Chuck, give us a quick tour of the shop. These are Model T. What year are these uh, Model we're, T's? Uh, 24 and 25 Model T's with the 31 Model A pickup in the back. All right. This will be a sign painter wagon. This is a 54 5 window with a 1950 Cushman Eagle sitting in the back. Jesus. Um, Wait, over here you've got your batteries. I, I like to buy everything kind of junky and fix it up. Right. You know. Um, you know, I have a I have a segment on my channel called a day in the shop, and I, this, shop. this I'm going to do this <laughs> as a day in the shop with yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. with the Chuck. Out there for looks, you know, the hand hammers and everything are for real. This is working. Right. We're building. We're building. We, we've taken this uh, uh, dump truck body off of old buddy L. We're going to make this an MOW piece of equipment here, so we can dump back. The kids can dump ballast on on the railroad Man. outside. This has got the hand crank on it. They sit on it and they crank it around, so right. that's what we're doing with that. Holy that's, in, that's, the, that's the current build. Man. And let's see, we got a 46 Cushman here with a sidecar hack, but she's actually needing ma magneto work, so she's down waiting on parts. God, we got to troubleshoot the magneto on that one. This is incredible. Uh, the 52 Eagle's running. We just got the bag fixed. Who made the... That's running. What year is this bike? This is a 52 Eagle. Oh, Eagle. So Eagle yeah, made Cushman these. Eagle. Cushman Eagle. Yeah. I've never... Wow. Cushman Husky Eagle. <laughs> and they're a very nice engine. They got oil pumps in them, and they were made with alloy steel, so you don't want to get rid of that engine. Yeah. No. Some people want to put all new stuff on it, but really you wow. can't beat that engine. That engine's Man. sweet. God, this and is just see, we got beautiful. Wow, look at this. on what we need. This, uh... Street rod back here, man. 30, that's a th that, no. It's that's actually a thirty-one Model A. Okay, but it's got thirty-three wire wheels on it. Wow! And then this guy back here is and a. That's, that's one of the first cars I restored. That's a fifty-three sedan delivery. A sedan delivery. Yeah, fifty-three Chevy sedan man. delivery. And this is my Hess Hornet uh, air compressor. Uh, it's a Willys engine, two cylinders, pump the air tank up. This is what I use for sandblasting. Right now, she's waiting on a new set of points. God, They're in the box. I gotta put them in. I gotta get a front view of this truck, man. Look at this. This is just absolutely amazing. Well, folks, this, this here's a Clinton out of the yard bird. 
This is the engine that was in that yard bird. Uh huh. Oh, in that yard bird, in yeah, that the, engine. The red, yeah, the red, the uh, red locomotive. That's the engine that came in. Like a you slid it back and forth and tightened up a belt. That's how it worked. Wow. So. Man, that's incredible. Well, look, I really appreciate this. And sure. so, your phone number, if anybody wants to get a hold of you, your business is on this card here. And let's just zoom in. So, folks, if you want to get a hold of him, it's 410. 465 5494 Chuck Gamber. And uh, Chuck, man, I really appreciate this. Thanks so much. Sure. All right, let's.